Hello my dear children. Hope you all are staying safe. Today we are going to continue our food lesson with another interesting topic. Before that, I will recall the facts we learned in our first presentation. We learned what is a balanced diet. Balanced diet is a food with all the nutrients. Then, what are these nutrients? Carbohydrates, proteins, fat, vitamins, minerals and water. And the sources, the food containing those different nutrients and their functions. Then finally, we learn what are the conditions that occur when different nutrients are not taken in required quantities. What are we going to learn today? We are going to learn things to be considered when taking food to maintain nutritional values, things to be considered when preparing rural or kanji, how to prepare food safeguarding the nutritional values, some instant food that people consume today, some effects on the health caused by taking instant food, Features of spoiled food and instances where food gets spoiled. How to maintain cleanliness when preparing food. And finally, methods used to advertise food products. First, I am going to teach you what are the things to be considered when taking food to maintain nutritional value. So, before that, I will teach you what is this word nutritional so nutritional means food with all the nutrients all the nutrients means the six nutrients carbohydrates proteins fat vitamins minerals and water first one is select fresh vegetables and fruits then the vegetables it should be green color and fruits with vibrant colors and sweet scent then second and the third is fish and meat. It should be red colored. Then the grains should not be discolored or insect infected. Then when buying packeted or canned food like milk powder, canned fish, uh, always you have to check the manufactured date and the expiry date in the packet or the can. You can find these dates. And the last one is should avoid over boiled or overcooked meat. Next, I am going to teach you things to be considered when preparing a gruel or kanji using leaves. Gruel or kanji in Sinhala we call as kola candle. So the first one is should clean and wash the leaves well. The leaves should be fresh. Then when you uh, prepare kanji as the ingredient, you put rice. So select a variety of rice with more nutrients. Then should pound the leaves well. Pound means crush or grind. Then finally, should not allow it to boil too much because when you boil it too much, it loses its green color. So following these four steps, you can have a delicious glass of roll or kanji. Next, I am going to teach you how to prepare food safeguarding the nutritional values. Now, what do you mean by the word safeguarding? Safeguarding means Protective. In the picture also you can identify. So the first one is some foods can be taken raw. Vegetables, fruits that you can take a raw. Then should wash and clean the vegetables and fruits. And before cutting also you have to wash them. And the next one is cook the vegetables carefully and should not overcook. Some instant food that people consume today. Instant means going to the shop. You can buy these easily. Consume means buy. So examples, pastries, rolls, hot dogs, burger buns. So looking at the picture also, you can identify so many examples. In the next slide, we will see uh, the instant food is good for our health or not. Effects on the health caused by taking instant food. So daily consumption of instant food is not good. For always we have to take a well-balanced meal. That means food with all the nutrients. So the first one is increase weight of the body. That we call as obesity. And we will get different diseases like diabetics, 
high sugar, then high blood pressure, strokes. So always we have to eat a well-balanced meal rather than taking instant food. Features of spoiled food. Discolored, bad smell, change in texture. That means when you touch the surface, it's different and undesirable taste. Next, instances where food may get spoiled. First one is when they are grown, harm from the pest. Uh, then the chemicals, uh, farmers, they spray this weedicides, pesticides for, the, uh, for their cultivation. So that is also not good. Then when they are sold, fruits, vegetables are kept on the ground uh, that exposed to dust and dirt. Then when they are transported uh, without proper method, they are just transporting it using gunny bags that may cause damage. Then when they are prepared or cooked, overcooked and in un unhealthy environment, uh, the food may get spoiled. Then when they are stored in different places with high temperature and in closed rooms, then the finally with natural causes like rain, floods and wind. Then how to maintain cleanliness when preparing food. Looking at the picture also you can identify. So first one is the kitchen and the environment should be clean. There should not be any insects or pet animals. Then the avoid breeding of flies and insects. The garbage should be disposed methodically. Then uh, the table, serviettes, knife should be clean well after use. You should wear a clean dress and cover your body properly. Then the nail should be clean and cut short. Before preparing food, you have to wash your hands using soap. After using the toilet, you have to wash your hands using soap. Then the utensils used for cooking like knife, then the pots, then the spoons, you have to clean properly uh, after uh, cooking and before cooking. Methods used to advertise food products. When you watch the television, you can find so many advertisements regarding different food products in the radio, newspaper, posters, handouts and bills are examples for this. Here I am going to give you an activity. Before that, I will tell you what did we learn today. We learn things to be considered when taking food to maintain nutritional values. And things to be considered when preparing gruel or kanji using leaves. How to prepare food safeguarding the nutritional values. Some instant food that people consume today. Then some effects on the health caused by taking instant food. Features of spoiled food and instances where food gets spoiled. How to maintain cleanliness when preparing food. And finally methods used to advertise food products. Now, in this activity, there is a picture, you, so you have to find the five food safety mistakes. Yes, you can. You can find the answers looking at the picture. And you have to write your answers in your personal whiteboards. My dear kids, we have completed first lesson in the second term, our food lesson. So, stay safe, healthy and happy. Thank you.